We all worry about how protected our homes will be while we're on holiday, and the Queen is probably no different. Here in Scotland, enjoying her traditional Highland summer break, the monarch was safely away from any potential threat. Two men have been arrested for burglary. One was inside the palace and the other outside. Police say the man climbed one of the perimeter fences to get inside Buckingham Palace, and we know he was arrested in an area where the public have access. Now, that could have been one of the state rooms. There are 19 inside the palace itself, and all of these are open to the public all summer long. The fact that somebody managed to breach palace security again will prompt an urgent safety review. But the building poses a unique security challenge. Buckingham Palace, it's a showpiece for the world. If there's 50-foot walls around the palace, um, then obviously that negates uh, what the building is uh, now. Therefore, uh, is it the building fit for purpose? It was built to do something a long time ago. It's a very large palace. Um, now it causes a major security threat, which it didn't in the past. Um, so in that respect, it's not fit for purpose. This incident is the latest in a long line of royal security breaches. In 1982, Michael Fagan broke into the Queen's private chambers and allegedly sat talking to her from the end of her bed. In 2004, a Fathers for Justice protester dressed as Batman climbed onto the Buckingham Palace balcony. And earlier this year, a man wielding a machete just outside the palace gates was tasered by police. But how do you protect a building that covers 77,000 square metres with 775 rooms set in more than 40 acres. I put that question to former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf. The former policeman has a radical proposal. I think it's time now that the Met Police and the, the government should look at outsourcing you know, security of, of national monuments like this to the private sector. But that, that's my way of doing it. That way you wouldn't actually sort of have to build 50, 60 foot walls. But you have to, we have to improve, I think, upon the current system. Ultimately, it comes down to resources, but we've never been told how much it costs the taxpayer to police Buckingham Palace. Outsourcing security wouldn't be easy. Obvious candidates like G4S and Serco have had serious problems. This time, with no royals present, it wasn't so serious. History tells us there will be a next time. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Buckingham Palace.